understand what it means to be human, we must start from the beginning. Earliest Hebrew account, creation by the god Yahweh, created the first man. However, there's still something missing. In the story of human origins, we belong to the species, the Homo sapiens. This begins in Africa about five to six million years ago. Homo habilis was the first species to live, mate, adapt, and survive. But then, Mary Leakey discovered footprints of three Australopithecines in Tanzania. So where exactly did they come from? Somehow, knowing where we came from is part of our identity. Scientists have discovered many human ancestors such as Tomai, Hope and Life, Lucy, our most famous human ancestor, and Artie, the most current news of a bipedal female. About 300,000 years ago, species of Homo erectus evolved into Homo sapiens. Africa is the cradle of humankind, and while it is true that there are many ways of being human, we are all one species. In a stage in the immense journey, two events made the inevitable. The rapid progress in science and technology, and the forcing of us to take over our own evolution, which is the destruction of our natural environment. Environment is the creator, and the human is the creature. It produced us according to its criteria. To better understand the meaning of human life, let's see what the philosopher Soren Kierkegaard believes. Kierkegaard believes that existential thinking is what an individual does when he is concerned about the meaning of his life and wishes to discover deeper levels of being that lie beyond the merely rational, database, conventional preoccupations. The life theme of his philosophy is the individual versus the crowd. So what does it mean to be human? Wake up everyone 